Still hello, this is Irene here with Single Old Heads. Um, this is an edition where I'm calling it, um, I'm sure what I'm supposed to be called. Guys, I'm not on video a lot, so I'm trying to get used to being on video. And to come on with intent is very important, so. But every time I either start recording or doing some type of video, I forget. Um, alternative love styles. That's what our video is called today. Alternative love styles. And you see up here comedian D. Ray Davis and these two ladies around him are his girlfriends. So they're an example of alternative love styles. You might call this a poly relationship. I'm not uh, familiar with all the terms when it comes to that, but you may consider it that. And then we're also going to talk about Tempest Bledsoe and Ron Davis. I'm sorry, Daryl Bell. I'm calling him Ron Davis. I think of his name <laughs> of his name on um, Different World. But Daryl Bell and Tempest Bledsoe, long time relationship they have here. People assume that they're married. They've been together for 20 plus years. But they are not married. They never chose to get married. And from what I'm seeing on Wikipedia and online... Um, they don't have any kids either. So if I'm wrong about any of these things I'm saying, please come get me. Tell me right now. I want your comments. Say, hey, you're not right about this information. If I'm wrong, please let me know because I want to know, right? Okay, so let's just get started with these guys. Like, I don't know, super a super amount of details. Um... I feel like they had their own reality show. There's a lot of pictures and things up. I don't know if it's still going on right now. But basically, this is his current situation where he has two women in his life. They know about each other. Um, I'm sure there's fights, disputes, and debates. But this is his situation. And I'm like, part of me is wondering, do these ladies just want to be in the spotlight because this guy is famous and they all have a lot of opportunities to get in the spotlight. They also have financial benefits just from being his woman. So, I mean, maybe this is the mindset of these two ladies. I really don't know what compelled them to actually decide, hey, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be with the guy that's with somebody else already, and I'm going to be the second one or the first one. Like, which one is first? Like, I know that's a debate, like, Whoever got in a relationship first, I guess she's the one that's first. But who's first in his heart? We don't know that. I don't know. Uh, I guess that's the whole dispute of Polly and the things that go on with Polly, Amory. And I, I've heard a lot of people now saying, hey, this is a good thing. Um, monogamous relationships are so um, American-ish or whatever. And, you know, in other countries, there's plenty of people that have setups where they marry multiple women um they even have harems i know i don't really see myself as a harem type of girl you know this is far from a harem but yet i can't see myself being playing second fiddle or first fiddle i just wanted to be the only one so i don't know i mean i'm sure this is every guy's dream he's sitting there in the middle i'm sure he's happy that he gets to have two girlfriends, and I wonder if he even has more things going on the side. And then I wonder if they have things going on the side. Um, for me, I don't think that I would be able to do this. But when I was watching D-Ray's comedy, um, one of his comedy specials, I just got more curious about him, what his whole setup was. It looks like he does have one child. I believe he was previously married. Again, tell me if I'm wrong. Um... So now he ends up doing this, and um, that's what it's about. What do you guys think? Would you be into doing something like this? And then for the guys, would you be into being the second guy? Let's say there's a lady in the middle of here. Would you be into being the second guy in her life, sharing the same person? And is it a matter of money? Like, Is it because these people have financial, financial fame that you're like, yeah, I... I would consider doing that. I mean, I see just a lot of people in this day and age. It's all about the fame. It's all about the paper relationships. What I thought was supposed to be based on love and a love story um, scenario to me feels dead. I feel like 
nobody wants to be monogamous. Um, I remember some time ago, I overheard a young man talking about the situation he was in. His situation was not great financially. And he's saying, well, I don't want a woman that's in my same situation. So I want, I want to marry up or hook up up, so to speak. So I think it's weird how people want to hook up up instead of just lifting their own selves up and getting their selves up to where they want to be and then finding somebody. I don't, I feel like sometimes people want to just feed off of other people and call it love and call it a relationship. And you're just benefiting financially from this person. Probably, I feel like you're harvesting this person. Like you're getting their money, you're having sex with them, you're getting all these benefits. And But what are you doing in a relationship as well? And what was your intent in the first place? Because I have no problem with being in a relationship where we both give to each other. That's great. But if your whole intent in the first place was to, to hook up higher, to get somebody that's got more than you so that you can be settled and you can be safe, like that's not the type of love, situationship, relationship I'm looking for. I'm definitely not looking for a situationship. So guys, give me your opinions. What do you think about something like this? Alternative love styles. What are your thoughts? Would you do that? We live in a poly world now, so not saying it's cool, not saying that I do it, just saying that this is becoming more and more acceptable. Um, and honestly, I do respect it a bit more than just straight out cheating, but it just seems too complicated, guys. I mean, if you want to just be out there and date multiple people, then can you just say that? I mean... So these are his two permanent ones that he's going to just keep dating forever. If that's the scenario, I guess. And guys, tell me if this has changed. Tell me if something has changed with their hookup or with their relationship. I have no idea, but let me know. Hit me up in the comments. You can email me at cbiztv at yahoo.com. Always check out our um, podcast at cbiztvonline.com. We need your support, guys. We definitely need your support. Okay, let's go to this next couple with alternative love styles here. We have Daryl M. Bell and Tempest Bledsoe. And I was just kind of shocked to see that they weren't married. First, I was shocked to see that they were together because I thought that was very cool. You know, Cosby's been through a lot of controversy lately with all the things he's done. But, you know, when you think back in the glory days of Bill Cosby... These two people kind of come from the Bill Cosby franchise. Um, I believe that Bill Cosby set up the whole spinoff with a different world. At least he was connected to it in some form. So Daryl and Bill from different world. He played Ron. He was Dwayne Wayne's best friend, bestie. He was a little arrogant, a little cocky. He had a little money. He thought he was the stuff, the light-skinned guy in the group, you know, um, I liked the little thing him and Freddie had because they were two from two different worlds. And then I did also find out that Dwayne Wayne's character, Kadeem Hardison and Freddie were actually a real thing, which I was kind of surprised about. But let's switch back to these guys. Now we have Tempest Bless. So uh, Bill Cosby fame. She played one of his daughters on the Cosby show. She's done other acting jobs as well. And so has Daryl. But I was like, oh, it's so cool. They're together. Yay. Then come to find out you guys have been together for 20 plus years. And I'm like, wow, that's nice. But you never got married. I'm not judging, but I'm just like, why? Why be with somebody that long and just never get the paper? Like, if you want to be with somebody that long and you can stand them for 20 plus years, what what's so hard about just getting that paper to just say that we're married? Now... Then I thought some other things to come into play. When it comes to finances, I mean, to me, they probably both similar financial levels. They've done similar amounts of work. They're not really in the limelight right now. So, you know, maybe early on, Tempest may have thought, well, I have a little bit more money, more experience than Daryl. Um, cause of course she started as a child actress and I think Daryl was a young man when he started as far as what I've seen him be successful in is a different world. So she may have thought, you know, don't want to th worry about a prenup. Don't want to worry about all that stuff. Um, 
just want to be with this guy and if it works, it works and we don't need the paper because then that's going to lock us in financially to each other. So why do that? Um, that may be an issue of why no marriage, no kids. I'm not sure why I don't know their situation, but you know, I still wish them all the best. They've been together for a long time. You know, um, after being together that long, some people might call it common law marriage. I don't know. Technically, I think it is in some states. If you're married to somebody or with somebody in a relationship that long, um, you probably definitely get benefits if you do break up because that's a long run to be with somebody. I don't know if I could do that either because, you know, I guess that's why I'm still single. I'm not trying to compromise. I just wanted to get married. You know, it seems like there's a lot of middle of the road compromises these days. Let's try this. Let's try that. Whatever we can do to be happy. And I kind of agree with, okay, let's be happy and find what works for us, but on, but to a certain degree. I mean, again, I talk about these people, but I'm not hating on them. I'm pointing out their situation, things that other people are doing, alternative love styles that maybe not everybody else is doing, but it's getting to the point where it's just growing more and more, where people are more open and willing to do something like this. And I, yeah, people have been doing this for a long time, just living together being together for years and you don't know that these people um, were not married. I've heard of kids in the neighborhood saying, I thought you and your mom and dad were married. No, they never got married. They were, just, we were just, they were just living together. So this has been going on for a long time. Their reasons and their scenario, I don't know, but I just love them as actors and actresses and to see them as a couple. And I just wanted to point out the fact that, hey, these guys aren't married. They've been together 20 plus years. Hooray for them, but they're definitely living an alternative love style, in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to go back to D-Ray as well. D-Ray may have had similar thoughts when he said, I don't want to get married, but I'll have two girlfriends, because he might have said the money issue. I'll give them their money. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of my women, so to speak, but there will be no payout if we divorce. I don't know if he had a bad divorce. I don't know his situation in that area, but maybe he was like, you know... I don't want to deal with any divorce type stuff. So we're not getting no papers, girls. We're just playing this game just like this. Everybody knows about each other. This is the way it's going. But whatever the case, I'm just praying for all the couples. Alternative love styles or not, God bless you as couples. God leads you when it comes to your next step because uh, love can be hard. And this shows it right here. You, we have to come up with different ways to love each other because the traditional ways are hard. People aren't trying to go through that anymore. Let's kind of half play it this way, half play it that way. And I'm praying that if you're single and you want to be married, that you find what you're looking for, that you don't have to play sharesies, that if you do want to get married, that the person will marry you for whatever circumstance, that you guys don't have to be together 20 plus years for us to say, oh, um, now we'll get married or we'll still never get married. I don't know. I'm just praying for all relationships, all couples and all singles. If you're single, be single and happy. Enjoy yourself. Love yourself. Love God. And that's the whole point I wanted to make today for single old heads. Love you guys. What do you guys think about these alternative love styles? Email us at cbiztv at yahoo.com. Go to our website and listen in to our episodes and support us. A list of means a lot at cbiztvonline.com. Thanks, guys. Now you guys got to wait for me to turn this off.